Resources for schools are always an issue, no matter what country. But when there are children with special needs, additional resources have to be found to help the pupils make progress. At Logologo Primary School in northern Kenya, there are some specific needs for the children and for their teachers. John Osman is a teacher in charge of the Logologo Integrated Program. Personally, I was born in around this area and my parents uh, actually are pastoralists so long time ago a missionary took me to to a school when he realized that i was uh, visually impaired he took me to thicker primary school for the blind uh, where i started my learning and after thicker primary i went to high school for the blind john went on to learn how to be a teacher and returned to his home area. For all children, those with visual impairments and those able to read conventional books, there is a can-do attitude at this school and at schools around the district. Uh, before IWR helped us, we had very little resources, learning resources for these learners. And most of the time, they are not be able to follow their sighted counterparts when they read. Now the books that IWR brought us are in the syllabus and they are the same with the books that uh, the rest of the school have. So when the teacher, a regular teacher, uh, opens maybe new primary English, uh, uh, this page, our learners will be able to open the same page and follow and they read the same words written in the in the in the in their site in the cited books. But before that, we did not have such resources, and therefore it was very hard for the children, for the visually impaired learners, to follow their sighted counterparts. And when I go to class, for example, for the sighted children, I take my reader or my helper. Then when I teach, we write maybe vocabulary because I'll be using my braille book, the sighted children, or those who can see, uh, somebody will write, the reader will write on the blackboard, the children will be able to copy. Those who are visually impaired, they, they'll be able to listen. And with their books, they'll be able to touch where I'm reading, and they'll be able to read. Each child at Logo Logo Primary School is treated as special. This comes from a strong leadership, showing that there are facilities at the school to include all abilities. So I encourage that, look like this man. Why don't you assist about people like this? Even in our community, go and collect them. Let, let, let them come to school, because we have a wedding facility for them, boys and girls, and they can do very well. For example, most of our learners who have trained through this program, one of them is in university. He's a visually impaired learner. He's in university, doing very well. So how do inspirational teachers like John Osman pass on their skills and knowledge? When you are, are visually impaired and then you come to school, you think that the whole world is against you. So what you do, uh, we have what's called pre-braille activities and how now he's visually impaired and he has to use another sense to be able to, be able to learn and read. If I could meet the YWR today, I'll tell them they have done a marvelous job. A marvelous work because now we are able to uh, cope together with the rest of the school. The new syllabus which they have uh, given to us um, is very, very good and is very, very important to us for the children and even for the teachers who are teaching. Because now, apart from, even from teaching the visually impaired children, I can use this book to teach the rest of the school. 
Now this teacher is also a model, a model that is also teaching, you know, normal kids with sights. Means that it will give the others a hope that the fact that I'm a blind or I'm physically impaired does not mean I am, you know, disability is not inability. You can be able to do many things. And I think that's what we need to do. I don't think that's where we need to find more resources to help kids like that to become role models in their own society so that other physically impaired kids could also see hope that the fact that I am, you know, amputee or the fact that I'm blind or I have, you know, problem with my, my hearing does not mean that I cannot do any normal function that the society does. So that's bringing hope for him, but more so giving them the tools they need. I think IRR has been in the forefront in providing the tools, the reading materials for the kids, teaching aid for the teachers. That's the kind of thing that we are doing. At Logo Logo, the corporation encouraged by IIRR has started to show results. The special children of the district are making great strides, thanks to some very special teachers.